Westworld Season 4, Episode 6, Fidelity. We're going to talk about it here. To me, it's almost like cycles, like everyone's going through cycles. Spoilers up ahead, we're going into it. Welcome back to Azart. My name is Nick and I have Britt here with me. She's an awesome photographer. Go check out her Instagram, cha.chacherry, I believe. I'll put it here to, to make sure it's the right link. But today we're going to be talking about Westworld. We're fans of Westworld. We may be a little bit critical, but it's because we want the show to be good because we wanted to live up to the first season, which was like one of the best shows on television. The first season is just amazing. But by the way, we cover other shows here from Raised by Wolves to now Primal. A lot of HBO Max shows. We covered The Boys, which is Prime, Netflix, Stranger Things, you name it. We are trying to cover it here. And now we're going to jump on in. So fidelity so basically it's everyone's going through cycles every character is almost going through a cycle in this story plot mm -hmm. this time bernard has his cycles of time and then um ob obviously i want to say aaron but caleb because <laughs> that's <laughs> caleb is going through his cycles okay. which is very very similar to the delos when he was going through his cycles, even to the point when evil Dolores, that's what I call her. I know that's her name. Evil Dolores comes in. She's also wearing all black, just like William would be wearing all black. Mm -hmm. And we also saw a scratched up version of Caleb, which we saw a scratched up version of Della's too. So it's like very, like we're getting a lot of flashbacks and cycles and stuff like that. But what stood out to you? What did you like? What did you not like? I felt like it was, <laughs> a, it was I felt really trapped because he mm. was trapped and so you you get into this like deja vu groundhog day like that's a nightmare it, whether yeah. it's his real i don't think he's dead let's just put that out there there's no way he's dead so you think oh. he's alive alive somewhere I like go like he, like thing where i think he's just being <laughs> like oh <laughs> just like just like william is yeah. basically yeah that was oh. chris's theory but i kind of can get that because they can still access things and maybe he's on some kind of like hibernation or so you're saying it's not old. like futurama then where his head's just still alive <laughs> yes because think of how old his body would be because now i think well, yeah. i think this episode there we're up to current day like every we're all at the same timeline now right that's what this i think did. so we still don't know when dolores's timeline is because oh. she's not even mentioned in this episode which we're probably not going to talk about her too much but there was mentioned about the park has been closed for over 30 years right when they entered the park so we know it's at least 30 years mm -hmm. since mm -hmm. caleb has entered the park with mave right and his it, daughter doesn't look like she's over 30 oh, what's her i'm sorry i keep forgetting her name so technically she would be 36 or 35 or something like but that. she does like, not look 36. if the I'm timeline goes that way but if three, this is in the future it. we don't know what kind of products they have out there in the desert <laughs> they don't have any products <laughs> we don't know they're not telling us all that subplot maybe maybe bernard knows maybe it's in one of his many cycles he looked through maybe the air quality is <laughs> just better too like because now they're in this like futuristic yeah, place where there's no in pollution the middle of nowhere <laughs> but no i want to say this episode felt a little bit predictable for yeah. sure. I mean, every like the last couple felt ones. Kind of predictable. And I don't know if it's because I'm getting like heavy Matrix vibes every episode. Like the beginning of this episode, I was like, oh my gosh, this is them just basically pulling people out of the Matrix. Like it was literally like, you know, unplugging them. Like, yeah. you know, oh no, we're getting a scan. You know, it's like, you remember like in the Matrix, it'll be like, oh, there's there's agents nearby or whatever. And they would like, you know, have to hide or do whatever. And it's just like, I know. And I felt like it was super run. predictable how they did that with her brother. Of like the whole, I get it. But just even the oh, setup yeah. of the line, like, you know, don't call me family. And then when it came to the question, like, you're not my brother. Yeah. There was a lot of awkward stuff going on here. Um, And it, I don't know, maybe it was just the pacing of the writing because they're trying to stretch it out. Um, it, it just felt like a filler like, episode to me yeah, because you like could, really even from a filming perspective, you could, you could spit. It's like in checkers when you run out of moves, you just start to mm. move that piece back and forth because <laughs> you don't have anything to do. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Dolores versus Dolores, right? Yeah. Just going back and forth. It back and forth. Like, we have the same mind. <laughs> but I felt that way even with like, because it's like, okay, cool. You guys set up this, you already have the set. So let's talk about just like logistics mm. production wise. And you, even though it's tricky, you have all these mirrors and whatnot. Like, you could easily do this for a full episode and just spend, like, spin Caleb around in a circle. So it made yeah. me feel like it was a filler because we're mm. just going around in a circle until the very end where I felt the whole episode had like, one conclusion. Maeve's back. Yeah. 
Wow, <laughs> Maeve's back, she's yeah. gone for so long. Yeah. And I thought it was also weird too that Maeve didn't interact with Bernard in this episode. I guess they're saving it for next episode, but there's only two episodes left. So, and we already saw in the trailer that they're gonna Maeve is gonna fight evil Dolores. And there's, I just don't know what's happening with Dolores at this point. The Dolores in the system, I don't, or Christine or Christy or <laughs> whatever you want to call that Christine. Dolores. Um, Christine, that is like both her and Teddy. I think they're going to have to run yeah. with that. I think it's going to turn into more of a love story between her and Teddy. Like they have to bring that conclusion somewhere. We're going to bring. But then is that the Matrix 4 where like love is the the key? It's just like, oh my gosh, this love stuff, which is fine. I mean, it's, there it's always all good, has to but... be a love story somewhere. I bet you, you know. like Primal's going to get a love story soon. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, we are covering Primal. If you guys want to watch a cool animated series, check it out here. Subscribe, get updates to all of our new content. Um, oh, and then, yes, so do you watch after the episode stuff at all? On the ep- sometimes, if it's okay. interesting. Like, I started skimming into this one, which they brought up Delios, and then they also brought up, like, his. I mean, it's like I watched even um, Flight Attendant on HBO, mm. uh, and the behind the scenes was, like, identical because they did the same the same theory of they're talking to herself with there's these mirrors, oh. and it's like, oh, I swear to God, you guys just like switched out some walls on the set and did the same thing. Uh, oh, so, yeah, I also just want to talk about the VFX nightmare that was probably to have oh. so many Caleb's in one area on green screens with the green screens reflecting onto the glass because that's what they were talking about a little bit. And I was just like, oh my gosh, as it is, I hated just even when a sword was being waved around because the sword would would reflect the green, which means when you key it out, and it's just like it's uh, to me, it's just like. Gosh, that is a VFX nightmare. And one thing they mentioned, so in the original Westworld movie, you have Westworld, Roman world, and medieval world. Those were the three worlds in the original Westworld movie that you know people were able to go to and visit. And what they did for fun, you saw the, the Chicago world, and then they said in the far distance, they put Roman world in there, just in case if they ever decided to go back and do Ro- Roman world, but they wanted to homage to the movie and i thought that was so cool i love when vfx artists hide stuff in there which you don't even know unless it's pointed out kind of thing and i just thought that was super cool (laughs) yeah i did think it was cute on a family level within the writing it's not you know groundbreaking but i thought it was cute with the line that may have had like you out of you finally got out here and the first thing you did even though it's so predictable that caleb would do that i like that about his character that no matter what he just got battered and battered just how much of a father that is to like go Mm. straight like where is my family where's my daughter like Mm. i don't like not even trying to save himself each clone of him had to say i thought that was a kind of a cool plot line he's like like, use me (laughs) (laughs) which i mean which i was asking chris too i was like would you consider this good acting because he didn't like the actor, the brother, when he was like, "Don't call me your family." He was terrible. Oh. He was like, terrible, terrible. So it just it it seems stiff. And, yeah. And I got Batman vibes from Caleb this episode because you'll be talking like this. <laughs> He's you know, the Batman to voice. Like, what do you mean? Like he had like that deep like Batman voice, and and because he was being in- interrogated, I'm like, oh my gosh, is a Joker gonna pop in? Which kind of happened. Like I don't know. There was just some some beats that were off for sure. Like even when um, Evil Dolores like kick kicked the chair away, I'm like, okay, was that necessary? <laughs> like you're already tough enough. I don't know. I there do just think they're doing really good with the styling. Still, that's one thing Westworld has not failed on. And I, and it's cool how you could even see within Evil Dolores's outfits, like, oh, that's right. I can see where you guys are taking the character stylistically. Mm-hmm. Like the stylist showed up to work. Um, yeah. I'm gonna say, like, like that mean, person did a great job. Set design's great. Um, mm-hmm. uh, every, all the VFX is good. Yeah, uh, production's good. Um, yeah, no, I, everything's good. Like the the quality of everything is there for the quality. I just think the story is just kind of like up and down with the Truly. roller coaster. It's like it's like we'll get something, and then sometimes we're like, oh, we were yeah. we were on a good path, and now we're we're kind of like at the low. And I'm just hoping it ends strong. I don't and, know how they're gonna um, do that though. With like only two episodes left, <laughs> like what could you possibly do? What's some big eureka of like where you well, could even take this? It's making me uncomfortable. It just sounds like everyone's going to turn on Evil Dolores. And, and then it's just like going to be a final battle. Robot William or host William's going to wake up and like disobey the order. And and that's what Caleb said, even though I thought it was weird that he had that answer. But he's like, no one wants to be under your control. It's like, how did, how did he even get that conclusion 
so quickly when he told her that. Remember at the end, he's like, she's like, what's the one thing that makes you so strong? Remember, that's like her whole thing. And he's like, it's because no one wants to live under your control. I'm like, you didn't have you even met anyone or talked to anyone yet. How would you know that answer? But it's all it's all good. I guess I think that is like kind of wildly, wildly. Oh, and I couldn't believe that Caleb's daughter is like, you just figured out the Frankie AI. Like, oh, you're one of them. Well, she. She might have known and been playing him kind of thing. Okay. I'm going to give her the benefit of the the doubt. Yeah. Way to Avatar the movie conclusion. Just like, ha ha. Ha ha. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Weird. All these. And then I just knew her girlfriend was going to come out and save it. As soon as she left the gun there, I'm like, okay, that gun's left there. So she would come out and say, and I just, I knew that was going to happen. I was just like, that was so, but which is fine. Like I, I get it. And, maybe Westworld's just kind of like finding their, their new groove again. Cause yeah, season three was very, very shaky and maybe, well, hopefully they improve from here. Cause we yeah. want good content. You know, we don't want to just watch shows for bad content, but we want good t- content. We want a good game of Thrones. We want the good we house want of dragons. Apocalypse. Actually that you know, bothered me too. I felt like they did a terrible uh, apocalypse version of like, okay, let's just put this into this really happened in the world. Mm-hmm. You guys are the last outliers. Like, that's not how you're going to hold a gun. You wouldn't be this clean. Uh, like just on the whole idea of the apocalypse, like you guys just mm. do Dune and all these different things. Like, I don't, you guys didn't make me really feel like your life was in danger and you're really advanced mm. with the technology to fight back. And I just can't stand when girls look so That's pristine. why they need Maeve. <laughs> Maeve, I don't know, Maeve always is cool. But like <laughs> for Caleb's daughter, it's like, I just wish they would have got someone a little bit more like, kick butt like obviously i can survive like terminator huh? you want like you want like terminator vibes like just no, like totally ripped far, out like but no no but not not terminator i'm talking about um oh my gosh the girl the girl from sarah connor i'm talking about sarah sarah, sarah connor where she's like beat up but she's like ripped because like in in terminator 2 she got like all buffed out and mm-hmm. like ripped and everything like that where you know she or really even like Mad developed Max that is character a great, like charlie St- like yeah when you're in these scenarios it's like there's no way you look like you just walked out of the mac makeup bar yeah because you know? even the matrix when they were out of the matrix it was like they had pudding for food they had the rag the rag clothes everyone wore even the color grading was different. Yeah. Like dramatically different, right? You had green for the matrix. You had blue for outside the matrix, like very cool. Then you had the green tone, but then you knew what right. world you were in, you know, yeah. and it's, that That's helps. I yeah, was that, it just, like it book just of Eli helps. was more rustic and like, mm-hmm. even you know, like Mila Kunis looked like she could handle a gun better i can't stand yeah. when people like i know that that's not how like there's no way you're shooting that accurate mm. from that position there's not one scratch on you yeah. um i didn't but like I, that scene at yeah all. and i think but filming it differently would have helped too like even like wes anderson depending on the time zones he's filming in right like grand grand budapest you have different framing to help you with the times you know like and maybe mm. if that happened here where even if it's slightly different framing or something so you kind of kind of know what timeline you're in and stuff but i mean if you want to confuse people like memento i mean you do that and you want to you want to confuse people so but overall <laughs> it's not terrible it's still watchable and <laughs> well i feel like i'm trying to convince people to watch it because i'm getting it and like even my friends that were westworld fans like yeah i just don't know like the last season <laughs> you know like, oh man i can't like but it's, it's not a good sign if you have to try to convince people to watch <laughs> yeah when they used to be fans yeah. oh and then i like the the they used to use the hats to record the human mind and now it, then it was the mirrors for vanity mm-hmm. to get it quicker i thought that was a cool little thing that they did and then i liked really small on the pad the number of caleb was like 278 or something like that like you saw the number by his name, and then at the end, when they're making the next model, it was two seventy nine. Oh yeah, oh yeah. To, to oh, show yeah. the iteration, so I just thought that like little little cool. details yeah. like that is just yeah. really cool when they pay attention to like the little details like that. I just I really like that, and I like Bernard kind of being back in his element, like mm-hmm. working on host and stuff like that. So I just thought that was cool. Don't That's his these. classic Bernard, you know, yeah. it's Bernard. Yeah. And um. But I do think we're gonna see a big battle. Um, or a big fight and that's the only thing that they're going to finish it off with the only thing you could do is like you have it set up now for a fight um <laughs> well, now it's just, I but think... i think mave's going to be on offense 
because they don't know about Maeve. So I think at least they're going to be on offense mode. But I think that the thing is going to be Bernard. I think Bernard has the key to the great beyond because he's been there. So if anything, evil Dolores is going to try getting the key out of Bernard. Because mm. I think that's the issue, right? They're having trouble going to the... So it's like something's wrong with the coding. Like it's not as perfect as Ford's coding. Right. You know what I mean? There's something lacking there. You know what I mean? Like her vision of the world. So I think something's going to happen where she needs Bernard to get into the... Because he's the only one that's been to the afterlife and back. I, or whatever. I can't if remember what she doesn't what eat herself to death first. Yeah. <laughs> if she doesn't <laughs> eat herself to death. But I wanted to say another Matrix theme I thought of. You know how Neo followed the white rabbit? Mm -hmm. basically Caleb followed the red hand that was like his way down the rabbit hole. And I also got major, major um, diehard vibes when he was in the vent. <laughs> <laughs> so did you watch the behind the scenes on that? So those are a on bunch of vent? different stunt people, but yeah, I thought that was mm -hmm. really funny. Like yeah, just to be yeah. filming in that scenario would be a pretty funny. Mm -hmm. I thought it was cool. They filmed the tunnels. Uh, no, it was, like, it was all cool. shot. They want to build like, that. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, everything looked good. I'm just, I'm not 100% convinced on the the white um, hosts or the the robot like hosts Actually, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it was kind of freaky at first when you saw it when it just like appeared when everything was frozen. You know, that mm -hmm. was like, oh. And it also freaks me out when they work on stuff and they're not looking down. Yeah. Because I'm so used to like looking at what I'm working on and it's just so creepy. Like you know, seeing seeing a face just not. I feel like look, they got just, shorter too. Well, probably because I don't think the actor's that tall for Caleb. Is it Black Aaron. Noir? Oh, no, I meant like the white. Um... Yeah, but I think since he's shorter, they might have, oh. you know, depending on the, the scene. So it's more for the camera shots and stuff okay. like that. Okay, I was like, but they did seem but... shorter. Like, do they shrink? do over time like, you would to... think they're all the same height it's like uh it's like star wars aren't you short for a stormtrooper right yeah <laughs> like that's, that's weird because they're all clones and they're all supposed to be the same yeah yeah uh, but, but other than that it's just like i got like i i think it's just gonna end up being a fight i don't think we're like i oh, like think so <laughs> but i'm not even looking forward to it like i remember in season yeah. was it season two or three with the fight between mave and dolores and she's like dragging the samurai sword like that's cool that, 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 i think that was season two yeah how are we gonna how are you gonna top I th no 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 that was that was season three that was with caleb when they were like at the warehouse thing or something like that i think right, right? that was a great fight that was a fun fight between mave and dolores oh. so it's like if anything you guys might be able to pull that off now other mm. than that like maybe all four people are just going to kill all the AIs are going to kill themselves yeah the great reset of minds <laughs> and maybe they'll start fresh or do a new park or what but you know it's just tough sometimes you go so far it's like Jurassic Park how far can you go from the original idea about an amusement park that got run over by AI like it's just supposed to end there like yeah. Jurassic Park we never had to go back you know what I mean like it was just like oh great we understood the ending of Jurassic Park Westworld, we understood. Yeah. Oh, the 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 host became self aware and they destroyed their god or their master. Right. You know what I mean? Do you I think, think they'll even... end it with this season, or do you think they're gonna like they're setting it up to do this again? I don't know. Well, I guess they'll see how well this does, and then they'll green green light it if they get enough views. <laughs> I just can't believe they stopped raised by wolves. Hashtag save raised by wolves. Post it whenever you can. Let's bring that show back or get it to Hulu or Prime or somewhere so they can continue. So Ridley Scott can continue his story of the sci-fi. For sure. <laughs> any last, any last uh, comments or anything you want to say about the episode? No, I'll wait until something happens. <laughs> <laughs> so tune in for next week when something might happen. We'll be here covering it. Uh, we'll do our best to do it the night of, depending on how crazy our weeks are. But subscribe to AzArt so you can get all the videos. Uh, as soon as they come out and you can go to azart.space for the, all the audio and video links and if you want to check out Bernie's Instagram it's cha cha dot cha cherry and I'll put it here to, just to make sure it's right and we'll see you on the next Azart. Dang! Dang you did it! You